Welcome back guys and I'll be telling you how I went from $700 of revenue in 990 days I mean into like less than a hundred bucks even of sales on eBay from reselling from a return pallet store or even pallets and like what have changed what eBay has changed in 2022. So it all started when we bought our first stuff from the pallet store. It was Market Street liquidation right there. And my brother just told me, my older brother, he's getting married, but he told me to just resell stuff on eBay. It's a good deal. And back then, eBay had tiny fees and the shipping was really small because the gas prices were really low sometimes. For example, 99 cents and now it's like three three seventy five and like we so we started because we were like all in for money because basically just reposting and shipping it out we didn't think it was that hard but then over the year we like kept doing it and kept doing it we had like four thousand dollars and then just random people for example we had some returns and like we they returned refund we refunded for them and they never shipped the product back we were texting a ton of times but eBay didn't do anything. So that's already the one thing that already messed us up and our reviews were getting lower and lower. Let's go a little back on the story. We bought our first pallet for $612.69 at the Market Street liquidation. It was tons of home medic stuff. If you don't know what that is, they just it's a company that sells massagers, different types of stuff. And it, it was a good brand deal because that brand was very known. And we posted a ton of stuff. We got sales crazy. Our, our eBay was booming with sales. Ship out every single day, ship like as fast as we can, trying to ship stuff out. But then, second pallet, we got ripped off. Look, so we were confident we will make tons of money. The pallet was 250 bucks. The stuff looked nice. But we were confident because we had success with that pallet. And then we said that we're going to have success with this pallet. Why not just buy that one? It was off of Facebook Marketplace. Don't judge us. We didn't know. But it was a total ripoff. Some guy sold it 250 He didn't even tell us that the stuff were all broken. Literally all the stuff were all broken, except a couple stuff maybe that he put in just for the fun of it. But it, we just got ripped off $250. For us, it was a huge deal. We wanted to make our money back. Uh, then we made another mistake. We bought another pallet for $350. It was full of clothes. I don't know what got into our head, to do that, but why would we do that? The clothes is the worst thing you can sell on eBay. The ratings on the clothes, I don't like it. It didn't fit, or and then they just return it, and it's not worth it for you at all because you have to pay for their back return. Look, we didn't accept returns, but they were like, oh, it doesn't fit, and then eBay made us send it back where they did, didn't, wouldn't give us a payoff. We just, they just keep the product. So we got ripped off of, of around six hundred dollars of pallets maybe a little less because we sold a tad bit of clothes but not a lot like Poshmark like 30 bucks eBay a little more but we got ripped off like five hundred dollars in one summer break this was a year ago so because and then we but we still kept trying I don't know what got into our head we kept buying stuff and then just I don't know what made us stop. Okay, if people say online businesses don't die out, some of them do. They just have to because if you if you, you're not making any profit, you're not. It's it's like it died out uh, because eBay it has changed so much in 2022. And when we were selling those clothes, we got returns, and after those returns, we had like one more strike until we got kicked out because they were we had to refund so much money and it was literally not our fault because our size didn't fit the sleeves were too long or something like that it wasn't even our fault and then eventually they kicked us out 
And those people that are just trying to start to resell, I'll just tell you this, don't use eBay. Use like Mercury, they have less fees. They have a lot less fees. Or use like Facebook Marketplace um, for like a local meeting or something like that if you have like a vacuum. That did really well for us. But now eBay is just not worth it. So like don't use eBay for reselling stuff because the shipping, it will cost you a ton. With all of that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us. We got new studio lights, new camera stuff, and new desk, as you see. So thank you for supporting us. We have a nice studio now that we can record and give you content. So please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. And if you didn't know, we have an Instagram account at Color Bros right here. Go follow to be shouted out in the next video. If you didn't know, we shout out one person that followed us on our Instagram. And today is going to be Katie Kolotyuk. Go follow her right here. And let's wrap up this video. And into the next video. Peace.